Hello. What's up, everybody? How's everyone doing? Hope everyone's doing okay. What's up? What's up, sup, dude? Uh, sup, sorry. What's up, chief? Dude, my brain is not well. Not, not working right now. Zany, what's up? Uh, Smed, how you doing? 6306, Spicy, FR, Avo, Jishi, Who's Bunny? Bunny, did you end up figuring out the um, camera situation for yourself? Waiting for it to get less busy? About to go grocery shopping? What's your guys' preferred time to go grocery shopping? Just finished up work uh, for the day and now I get to chill and stream? Hell yeah, dude. We love that. I'm a morning guy. I like morning grocery shop. But what's up though, Chief? How you doing? Welcome to the stream, man. Uh, Magala, early morning when it's empty, I'm the same as you. 8 p.m. is the ultimate grocery time? Really? Can I ask why? I've never really done 8 p.m. groceries. <clears throat> early morning, the green onions are always out otherwise. Hey Alex, I hope you, uh, you're you doing better today than yesterday. A lot better, Ken. Wait, the green onions are always out otherwise? What do you mean by that, Rufus? Like, do you mean people put them out? Depends if you want everything to be in stock or not. Actually, that's true too. How is late night? Is it usually like out of stock? Late night uh, Trader Joe's is a vibe. Hey, you know what's not a vibe? Let me tell you guys what's not a vibe. Going grocery shopping while you're hungry. <laughs> that is a million percent not a vibe. You end up with so much stuff. Um, not a vibe at all though. That's dangerous. Yeah. Oops, I bought 14 bags of chips and I'm never gonna eat. Working on my Java course right now and had a band competition, it went well. Oh, that sounds awesome. Hell yeah. I, I hear so many good things about Trader Joe's, but we don't have one here. So, unfortunately no Trader Joe's for me. We got the worst grocery stores here in Canada because they're all owned by like one person, so. Feel alive today, was sick over the weekend. Yeah, I think everyone came down with a little something. A lot of people I knew were sick. Dude, I still have the mark for my CPAP mask on my nose this morning. Trader Joe's is only good if you shop for max two people. How come? Adam, thank you so much for the prime. I appreciate it, man. Alex, our relationship is now one year old. God damn, bro. Thank you, man. Also, is the music too loud, guys? If it is, I'll turn it down a smidge. Uh, Texas has HEB, best grocery store for real. I accidentally hit my mustache without the guard today. Oh, shit. Hold on, Evo. Bro, that's dangerous. I've done that one time ever in my life to my beard where I accidentally hit it with a zero with no guard on and I had to shave my whole face and I looked like a baby. Like a baby, dude. You gotta be careful. Uh, Publix is more affordable. I feel young again. <laughs> dude, no. I know that sucks. That sucks so bad. Classic Texas claiming anything they have is best. Are they wrong though? I've heard Texas is super good for a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, what's up, Max and Match? How you doing? Uh, like your high school pick you showed us? Dude, I am not, well, I don't wanna talk about that. That was such a long time ago. Let's avoid talking about those picks. Is that the Bauer Light? No, actually this is PC Kohaku with X-ray keycaps. I think it looks super, Renderish on this. Oh, got like a crumb here from what I don't know. Did you hear from Reagan? What did I hear? What from Reagan? Oh, te Texas. I mean, Reagan tells me all the time because <laughs> I mean, he's there. He's kind of biased, you know. Uh, hope you're having a great day. Looking forward to an awesome stream. I am too. It's a board I actually have never built before, so yeah, it should be interesting. Um, by the way, I don't think I thanked some people for follows, but thank you guys. I really appreciate it. How'd you get x-rays? Is Alex hacking? They sent this to me early to take a look at. Um, actually, KBD fans is gonna be sending me out something else, to, like something that we talked about, they already have in the works. So they're sending it to me very, very, very soon. I, I did see that, Adam. I just, I haven't gotten to yours yet. I shipped out two prize winners today. So I think it's gonna be like last time where I ship out two every other day. Uh, just limitations on how much I can carry to the postal office since they don't do pickups in the condo and I don't know why they don't do that, but hey. Um, 
Just making sure you know. Oh, I know Adam. You're the only face that's still unanswered on that side profile there. TT Keeb. It's, it's, uh, it's basically a little past midnight in France. I'm gonna sleep with your relaxing voice. Adam is 100% last. Um, wish me luck, Alex, uh, that my code runs. Zany, I hope it runs, bro. It will. There's, hey, man, it will. There's no no doubt in my mind, all right? Alex, I'll DM you about Adam's address so I can ban him IRL. Do you know I watched back the VOD? Can I say something? So I watched back the VOD, right? The, the subathon vlog, uh, vlog and, um, or not vlog, VOD. And during that, I said, if Adam wins, he owes us a keyboard. And Adam never said no. So, you can't say no now. <laughs> you, <laughs> I'm just saying, I, I heard that and he never said nothing. Actually, he might have said something. He might have said, yes. Sounds legally binding to me. That's all I'm saying. So today we're doing the Ouroboros. I, this is for a client. So obviously I looked up nothing about the price and all that stuff for this board, but I kind of want to right now. Nearly one year of keeps with the daddy. Less than three. Thanks, man. I appreciate that, Cass. Cass, are you making a sticker, by the way? So this board's still in stock, I think. It's about what, 400, yeah, $430. Um, it still has a few colors in stock. It is gonna be a uh, 60% layout, plateless, gasket mounting style, so it's a PCB mounted, and a polished stainless steel weight. And it does have a 1.2 millimeter PCB. Never gonna give you up. Never gonna let you down. Never gonna run around and desert you. Dude, I appreciate that, Wode. I really do, man. We do have the proper stabs for it, which is great. We like seeing that. And then what else we got in here? We have our PCB, which we're gonna test first because I've been very paranoid of PCBs lately. Also, if you can see on the PCB here, there is no mounting point under the space bar. Finally. I feel like every other keyboard I have these days, it goes from like, we get a spree of keyboards that don't have them and then a spree of keyboards that do. Very, very nice. Thank you for not putting one there. We have gaskets. These are adhesive, which makes it even more important that we don't have those there. Daughter board uh, using standard JST. Looks to be a decent length too. And then we have some clear bump ons, so. Hot take, I like the mounting point. Yeah, I, I say that, and I know a lot of people like mounting points under the space bar. Like, I've been told a bunch of times people really enjoy mounting uh, mounting points. My gripe is I, if they're going to make a mounting point under the space bar, I train. thank you before, I would love um, non-adhesive gaskets there so you can take them off and people can experiment and find what works best for them. Because sometimes with these adhesive gases, you take it off once and that's it, you're done, skis. That, that's all you're getting. You're getting the one thing with that. <laughs> hey, but I appreciate using those here, man. And this is nothing, nothing, this is just a piece of foam. Let's see the keyboard. I actually don't know what color we're building today. I want to leave it a surprise. Why is this jammed in there? God damn. Oh my goodness. Probably silver. Uh, I can't see. I cannot see it. Oh. Damn, this is a nice. Where did this screw come from? Oh shit. I hope this is not damaged at all. We look we look okay. This is the dangerous part about shipping any keyboard and then not screwing in screws tightly. Looking sharp, thanks man. Now we look good, nothing's damaged. That's just my fingerprints because the board's kind of cold still. Oh, this is nice. It reminds me of Helheim a little bit. Oh, this is cute. Wait, that's so cute. It's like a cute version of Helheim design. <laughs> Wait, this is nice. All right, let me move this to the side. 
Do I have like a little, I do have a screw chip, but it's full of screws. <clears throat> yeah, it's Ouroboros, literally. I, I know, I know, I know. But it's it's cute. I designed that weight, you're welcome. Adam, no you didn't. Don't spread misinformation. All right, let's put some feet on this guy. Uh, and then we'll take a look at the entire keyboard. Because I've actually, again, never built this board before. It's pretty standard fare, though. We're going to be building it with Nixies. Everyone's um, universally loved favorite Switch. The snake looks derpy. I think the snake looks hella cute, not gonna lie. I'm here for the snake. Uh, what typing is the board? That is a great question. Is it not on the website? Maybe it's on the GB page? Of course it's, wait, no, maybe, maybe it's here. It is seven degree typing angle. We have a 21.45 effective front height and um, with the lip, so non-effective front height would be 17.42 millimeters. Pretty, pretty, um, why can't I get these? Pretty nice front height on this, by the way. Actually pretty nice. And then uh, we also have seven millimeter top and bottom bezels with five millimeter sides. We'll flip over the board, take a look at that. And then a polished stainless steel weight. It's about a kilogram unbuilt. Yeah, before, let me let me see what sets we can put on this. I actually have an idea of what I want to put on this, something new that we haven't used before. Oh, let me put the feet on. I took them out, struggled to get them out, and then Spellbook would look really cool too, yeah. Uh, Orbos Noun, a circular symbol that depicts a snake or dragon devouring its own tail. Blue, <clears throat> Blue Ronin won't work with the purple. You'd be surprised. Sometimes, sometimes they work with each other. Purple and blues can sometimes play nice. That or Purple Knight, but I, I think Purple Knight might be too much purple. All right, let's take a look at the, the aesthetic of this. So for a side profile, it's a basic box on wedge. In fact, let's zoom in a smidge here. Oh, I just knocked the camera too much. It's a basic box on wedge. I think where this is gonna look really pretty, there's a small little cherry lip there in the front. You guys can sort of kind of see it. Yeah, the bezels, they're not the thinnest I've seen on the side, but man, I do appreciate thinner side bezels. Uh, it has the thicker forehead and chin there. And you can see that, oh, my camera does not like this. It does have that thicker um, bezels on the top and bottom, and then you have that nice cherry lip. Very, very nice, very pretty. It is a slightly smaller weight on this, so if you guys end up wanting to buy this because it is in stock. But overall, I'd say this is a very classic bottom design too. Um, you know, it has the recessed sides in, so it does give you some, some depth with your box on wedge. And then on the bottom, it does create a very classic vibe. So it's nice. It is nice, very classic. It's a little pricey though at 430 bucks, but I'm assuming that's because these are extras. I don't know how much the group I ran for, but I'll make the assumption that this is a little pricier because it's extras. I think that's fair to say. I don't know if the group I was the exact same price. Again, this is a client build, so I didn't do research into that kind of stuff, so. You think Miklon would look nice on that? <laughs> I paid 400. Oh, was the group by the same price then? Why does this, I know this is a 1.2 mil PCB, but this feels like one mil. Oh, it's a Studio Kestra PCB too. I have not seen this logo in quite some time. Very nice. Oh, this is the new PCB. Ah, interesting. I, I was literally looking at one of my new PCBs earlier too. That is cool. I miss Studio Kestra. I don't know if they're doing much stuff anymore, but they made some really cool things. I miss them. Come to think about it, this is a little bit inspired by the new, huh? All right, let's do some stabs. Actually, let's test the PCB first. Let's do that before we do literally anything. Um, do I have like a, where's my little gray, gray cloth thing here? I know their PC crashed and they lost like all their files. No way, it did? Oh, that sucks. 
How do you guys usually back up your stuff? Honestly, I back up most of my stuff to a cloud and I feel super comfortable doing that. So, I don't know if you guys do it any different, but a cloud is, is usually the way I work. You can box on my wedge anytime. Huh? What the? That sucks though. That really does suck. I make backups of my backups and then make a backup again. Honestly, it's pretty smart. Well, I'm just gonna take this off before we do anything today. Makiba vendors are some amazing boards. I have the chapter one. It is so hilarious that you you mentioned that because I have mine right behind me. And I was playing with it yesterday because I built that board a long time ago and I have some, I was like, you know what? I really like that board and I wanna make it sound better than how I built it. So I was playing around with like gaskets on it and took out some of the gaskets because I felt like it was just way too compressed when I had built it originally. So what's going on with my chair today? Every month on storage devices, I have a built-in NAS. I have this as like a backup for like photos I don't give a shit about. Um, and then all the photos I do give a shit about gets backed up on this and a cloud. But this is my, this is my meh backup because one day I know this will probably fail. Those things are nice though, those little Samsung T7 shields. Uh, have my own Synology NAS. Is that how you pronounce that word, Synology? And an external drive connected to uh, making a backup of the backup. One day I will learn how to do that stuff. When I have more space in my room, I will learn how to do all that stuff. Right now, I am, I am, <laughs> I'm making do with what I have. I'm not sure if you saw, but um, I could have my sunset built tomorrow if you would prefer. Um, when do I have your sunset, Amorta? Is it Thursday? Let me check the this build thing here. Oh, I have yours. Amorta, I actually did switch it to tomorrow. Um, tomorrow at nine, because I think we spoke about it. So I did. I think I think I, I thought I sent you an email saying we're gonna switch it back to nine uh, Tuesday. But yeah, I, I moved it on the schedule. So it'll be tomorrow at nine p.m. A little later than normal. But I think a, a late night stream will be fun. We haven't really done late night streams. All right, let's plug this into the daughter board and let's test this bad boy out. Remember kids, raid is not backup. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Actually, just because I don't want it to get caught on any of the fabrics there, I'm just gonna put it on this. <sighs> How do you like the RO59 on MX? Which one's that one there? Last night was like 9 p.m., that's too late. I had a blast. Last night was so much fun, guys. It was so fun to stream at that time because we don't really normally stream at that time, to be honest. Uh, so it's always fun once in the blue moon where we get those late night streams in. I don't know, I thought it was fun. Okay, let me get tweezers. Got my first camera coming Friday, gonna start my YouTube channel. Ooh, what are you gonna be using? Did this freeze already or it did? Why does this happen? It's just when I go in the test matrix mode, every other mode works fine. And then I hit test matrix and the whole thing just freezes. Little quirky. Uh, got my Zoom 98 Odyssey today. Super excited, but keycaps are still unfulfilled. So starting the, um, at the new shiny thing, I am not gonna build out. Which keycaps are, are you ordering? that are unfulfilled. It happens though. Once in a blue moon, things take a little longer than expected. Uh, thanks for the 2 a.m. ping last night. Anytime, I don't know if, I don't know if you're being sarcastic, but anytime, anytime 6306. It was, uh, it was fun. I had a fun time streaming last night. It was great. I have to head to bed now. Take care, Cass, love you, buddy. Hope you're sleeping better. 
I put on my CPAP last night. However, dude, I woke up last night because I guess I roll. I don't know if I rolled over or something. I have no idea what happened. All I know is I, I felt like out of sync breathing on the CPAP machine. So I like ripped it off my face and I couldn't really get great sleep after that, but I did get like six hours prior to that, like good sleep. But I don't know what the hell happened. Like put me in a panic. I was gonna join after I put my son to bed, but it was finally um, over. Oh, yeah, it was a, it was a shorter stream. We were just doing something like very off from what we normally do, I guess. You know, R zero fifty nine is a dry lube essentially used on Topper. Oh, I have no experience with that actually at all, honest accountant. Um. Even on the one Toper build that I did when I lubed it, I just used 205. So, Adam, Adam, bro, let me, I'm gonna ask you a question, okay? We're gonna stop the stream for one sec, ask you a question. What if a spider crawls up into the CPAP, into the mask, and into your mouth? Adam, you, your imagination, I wanna foster that, but in the right direction, you know what I'm saying? I think we need to, I think we need to sit down later and we need to talk about, you know, the direction of your imagination. Uh, new fear unlocked. Thanks for that. Legit question. Okay, Yoshi. Uh, that equals free protein. Free protein. I, I like how you guys are making the best of it, though. Kind of legit question. Well, it, it can't, as far as I know, it can't crawl in there. So, because there's a filter area. Uh, so... Anyways, what does it really matter? It's in your belly now. It's, it's okay. Like someone said, it's free protein at that point. People eat insects. That's fine. I'm, I'm all there for it. Uh, clearly, you've never seen a kaba in your ear after you wake up. Bro. Why are you guys giving me nightmare fuel today? Like, what is this? Why? I don't even want to think about cobwebs in my ear. Let's just go back to streaming the keyboard. What is this right now? Alex, there are bugs under your skin. Sussy Tuesday? It's not even Tuesday. It's, it's, it's Monday. Wait, it's Monday? Yeah, it's Monday, cats. Alex, there are countless, uh, there are countless bugs in your beard and mustache. Oh, well, they can live there. Um, it's like a rainforest, right? It's an ecosystem. I don't want to ruin the, I don't want to like disturb the ecosystem, you know? So I'm gonna leave it. Never cut it off. That's all. <laughs> that is all. Name them all Jeff. One of my friends told me his uncle who sleeps with his mouth uh, woke up to find a web that was formed. Damn. Can, would spiders do that though? I feel like that's not like an ideal thing for a spider to do. Like on a real note. Like, I feel like you also have to be pretty damn still for that. Because most some people roll over and stuff very rarely. Yeah, I feel like that's very unlikely, but damn, that's interesting. That is very, very interesting. Uh, bugs are super good for protein, especially crickets. They don't taste bad if you have uh, dried in season, to be honest. Only tried once. I think I've tried something one time ever in my entire life, but I don't remember what it was. Those look way better up close. I might get a set. Yeah, they're really cool. I didn't. I think the set, the post you saw wasn't even when I had um, painted the insides yet. So now that they're all painted, you can't even see the mold marks on it, as you guys can see on X-ray. So it's pretty cool. Also, we're doing pretty standard on this. I think. Well, let me just double check my build commission sheets. Split right, full back, seven you bought. Okay, cool. So we're doing four four sets of stabs. Adam, you know, I'm not gonna give Adam any more attention. Uh, most likely grasshoppers, <laughs> wait, for what? You said your friend sleeps with his uncle. Maybe I need to stop scripting my head up my arse. I thought you said, no, no, I didn't say that. Have you guys tried scorpions? Um, no, I didn't know you could eat scorpions, to be honest. Why did I open up Greg for? 
That's not what I need. I need my lube. Lube and a brush. I don't even know why I have Greg on my desk. Oh, because I took it off the other key cap. That's right. Greg cited. it. Actually, the other day I had, um, we went to a Hakka place and I had their salt. It's like their seasoning and then salt and pepper fried like this really awesome dude. The shrimp there was insane. And it was like a really good price too. Really, really, really good. Okay, let me focus up. When you do stabs, I'm like grabbing everything here. We're doing seven U, so I don't need this guy. We don't need this. Scrubbings are something you eat just to say you've eaten. Tastes like nothing. Really? Interesting. All right, let's put this away. Because <clears throat> you love Greg that much, you just want him by your side. You know what? Tell you what, guys. Perhaps I'll consider if I ever get a dog and he kind of looks like Greg, I'll name him Greg for you guys. Why is step caps lock infinitely superior to, to regular caps? I think that is a question for everyone here. Why do you guys love or hate step caps lock? All right, lube, and let's start with our stabs. Less likely to accidentally turn on caps. Believe it or not, most of my keyboards, I don't have caps lock bound as caps. I have it set to either alt, I believe I have it now. So nice. Day I'm almost a year. Thank you, Smarter. Appreciate you, dude. Thank you, thank you. Much love, bro. But you're a Mac user? But I am, I am a Mac user. So it makes more sense for me, it does. Uh, so you just hold shift when you yell at people? It's very rare that I do a whole sentence in caps lock. So yeah, I'd, I'd sometimes hold shift. I think that's my... I think that that's what I would normally do. I think holding shift is my go-to. Kind of lets you feel the force you're putting behind the words too, you know? Because you have to put an extra action in there. Bro's got to get an ergo board. I have one coming in soon that I might be doing for a client. They did request it off stream because, uh, well, they don't want people to see how they soldered something, but maybe I can convince them to just let me do the re-soldering on stream. Insti, not everyone is as volatile as you. To whom it may concern? I heard Jim Leader Nathan's caps lock is just broken. What's the polycarb board you're using? It is a polycarbonate Kohaku. It's quite pretty. I wish the LEDs were a smidge brighter on it though. I feel like they've dimmed somehow. I don't understand how, but I feel like they're dimmed compared to when I got, when I got the thing, so. Have I seen the new tent at, uh, by Helix Lab? The thing is crazy, you need to check it out. Okay, okay. Actually, I have a board that I'll be building in about a week or two that I think is kind of funny. I won't tell you guys what it is yet, but it's interesting. Uh, what's up with the spacing by the space bar? Well, Kohaku's, for whatever reason, I think it's a plate file thing, but I can fix that. Apparently you just gotta like really press in the switch and reflow the solder, but I, I'm gonna leave it because I'm too lazy. Um, most, most Kohaku's though, they, they suffer from this problem. Uh, can we guess what it is? Yes, you can guess what it is. What's wrong with the space bar? Nothing's wrong with the space bar. It's this key. So on the Kohaku, it's this key. And I think even that key um, there. Okay, how can I? Uh, let me grab a switch. Okay, imagine this, the plate this is the plate straight, right? Imagine the plate, it's uh, the hole is off centered from with the PCB. So it kind of leans a little bit, like even when you press push it in and stuff, it leans a little bit like this. It just tilts a little bit, just ever so slightly. So it doesn't actually sit in the right position, um, like your desk. 
Can we time out Adam for 600 seconds, please? 600 seconds, I think, is a good amount of time. Um, I'm typing on mine right now. <laughs> I, I'm typing on mine right now because I'm uh, 6.5. Yeah, 6.5, I don't think has that same issue. But I think 7U is what had it. I think 6,000 seconds is a good time for Adam. <laughs> Alex's desk esteem is in shambles. Dude, I can't wait to, to fix this desk eventually. Then no one can make fun of me then no one can bring it up anymore. You're lucky I'm lenient? True. Adam, take an hour break, my boy. <laughs> Adam secretly hates me. He pretends he plays it off as like memes and trolls, but he secretly just hates me. He's taking all my keyboards. Even Kenny didn't get a timeout. <laughs> Kenny doesn't troll me 24 seven. It's funny to me how the go to, um, one of the go to boards have the dumbest play errors. Yeah, it's fixable. Like, I will say on just about every client build that I've done for Kohaku's, I've actually made sure this doesn't happen. But on my own board, I just kind of like forgot about it. And because I was using darker colored keycaps, never noticed. And then just said, fuck it, I don't give a shit. I'll, I'll unscrew it one day, but that day is not today. Uh, don't worry, my desk is from uh, JS, JYSK and it came pre bent <laughs> Reflect, it's a flex cut desk, bro. Pre-bending. Wonder if a custom plate would avoid that? Probably. If you get the, um, if you're not using the files that they provide and you adjust the files, probably. It's a stupid problem. I don't know, I hope for the, like the, the Kohaku's coming out from now on, they fix that. I actually didn't even check the one yesterday. It looked good though when I put the keycaps in. but I think they've corrected files since. You can get, uh, you got any polycarbonate board recommendations? Dude, right now I think a sleeper polycarb board is the Tofu PC edition. Tofu 65 PC, sleeper. Absolute sleeper board right now. Alex, the last table bender, God damn it. <laughs> I've noticed the way is gasket mounted um, I noticed, I have noticed the way it's gasket mounted. It's, it can be too close to the top or bottom edge. Well, there's also a very small issue with Kohaku's as well with the aluminum plate specifically. Because the aluminum plate, I don't have a piece, obviously a plate to show you guys right now. It's so thin um, on the bottom where, you know, right over here, kind of uh, underneath the space bar. Sometimes what happens is it actually bends underneath the switch. It's really weird and kind of specific but you gotta make sure that you lift the plate properly and seat things or else you get the weirdest sounding space bars in the Kohaku. Um, it's a finicky plate file. I think that's its weakest point. It's a beautiful keyboard, has a lovely sound signature, uh, but it does, I think the, the weakest point of the Kohaku's are the plate files. They're, they, de they desperately need to be looked at. Uh, the upcoming poly, uh, Haku release will not have the issue. All right, so it seems like it's solved then. That's good. What are the best stabilizers? Alpha, wait, I, I gotta I'll answer your question one second, uh, Ryder. That attachment that you sent over for, what's it called, the uh, AeroPress is a game changer, bro. It's so good. I've, I've been making a few coffees with it and it, it changes the way that the coffee tastes from the AeroPress, like in a better way. It's so good, man. I appreciate it so much, dude. I, 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 I meant to tell you, if I saw you in stream today, that it, it's, I feel like throwing out the other one at this point. No, Elkwan, send me a picture. Ooh, this is nice. This one here is really good. Uh, and we're just gonna do this with 205. This is TX actually. I was gonna ask if you would test anything different with using it. I have done it a few different ways. I actually prefer it without the additional filter. So I'm just using the metal filter that it came with. I actually quite like it. Tastes a little different, a little bit more full without putting two filters in there. So it's insane. What's the attachment? Here, I'll get you guys the box. I have it on my, my table still. Oh, 
I'll show you. Cold brew is good. It's, I find I only drink it during the summertime. The, the attachments in the is still drying. A little. I don't know. We use we use the washing the air the washing thing for the the dishes dishwasher as a drying rack. So it's this guy, the Prismo. This thing is sick. It, it's it's like a game changer for me. This like tastes so much better. Yeah, it's so good. Ten out of ten. This is so so good for this. Uh, this is a plateless build, yeah, with solder PCB. Sent a DM of the cups. Let's see this bad boy. My kettle actually almost died from fellow, but I opened it up and re-soldered a wire and I fixed it. But I would tear off a whole bunch of the stuff on the back of it, so. Wait, you DM'd it to me, Elkwan? Where? I don't see it. Oh, never mind. Well, just load it. What the hell? Oh, nice! Dude, nice Alpha sent me one of those too. Beautiful, man. What the hell? Why did? Why is it taking so long to load my opening? Thank you so much, man. I appreciate the Prime. Really, really appreciate that, dude. Uh, Prismo is still very nice. Hot take, but IMO, the AirPress version of the Prismo is better since it can use paper filters. Perhaps. I don't know. This one's still tastes delicious. There is a difference. I was reading about like, I don't know this. I feel like this is a lot of like, probably some bias. I was reading some guys findings when it comes down to metal filters versus paper filters. And it is a, a little bit of a different taste according to him. And I've never really tried metal filters before, but I got to admit the one that came with this is pretty solid. So why electric over stovetop? I love my stove stovetop stag. Uh, we rent and our stove that our condo has, bro, I ain't gonna lie, it sucks. It's, uh, I don't know why, it takes forever to heat up. So uh, I, I would just rather use the the electric one. Yeah, it's, it's, it sucks. I just prefer paper because it's easier to clean up. Oh, I don't mind the extra like, minute or two of cleaning it. I, I think today it was a little bit more messy than usual, but not a huge deal. Uh, no, not yet. I don't think that's coming in for a few weeks or something like that. I don't know when the protagonist ends again. I gotta look, the, look up the protagonist end date for the group. I saw it went live today though, but uh, I, gotta, I gotta figure out dates for all the protagonist. I'm really hoping it doesn't come in too late because lately I've been feeling like, I mean, this always happens. I'm Canadian. So a lot of the times when stuff's getting passed from streamer to streamer, I get it last because <laughs> they don't want, they only want it to cross the border one time. So I really hope I'm able to get it midway through the group by this time. Uh, is AeroPress coffee worth it? I kind of just use my espresso machine daily, but open to try new coffee brewing myth techniques. If you already have a machine, I don't know if the AeroPress is like gonna be a big game changer for you, but it's super simple to use. It's, God damn, it's right by my condo. Um, it's super simple to use and takes like what, two minutes? So, sorry, that was me. Oh my God, Adam. Just wondering your thoughts on this, but would you prefer, uh, which would you prefer between the DR70F and the Bauer Lite? I mean, the DR70F has a really fun layout, but I have no use for that layout all the time. So for me, the Bauer Lite layout wise just makes more sense for like my daily use case. Both do have different sound signatures. That's something I do bring up very often too because the Bauer light has a very distinct sound signature you know I can't wait for you to open the Dak Golden Waffle I'm so curious oh uh, it's gonna smell like use their stuff usually smells absolutely amazing I think it's been about nine days now alpha I think I can open it perhaps I'll just wait the extra few days 
I was considering opening it today, but I just I just used another bag of coffee I had already had opened. Alex, do you think uh, it's worth trying to buy vintage Triad Keyboard KK5105 to get vintage Cherry MX Black Switches? It is probably more efficient for you just to buy the Vint Black Switches from someone who's already harvested them at this point, to be honest. R&D KBD, oh my God, hello. Mr. Odos, do you prefer typewriter, stone carving, or pen and quill for your favorite input device? Um, I think all keyboards are a waste of money, truthfully. I mean, think about it, they're all aluminum, which you can buy aluminum for, like you can find it on the side of the street and just compress it yourself. Um, what I like to do is I like to get a hammer and chisel and I like to chisel my own keyboard case. Who needs a CNC machine? It's not worth it. I can make the whole keyboard for $20. And um, yeah, and that's it. And then I just like, I find an old keyboard or just go to Best Buy and take their keyboard and take the PCB out of it and boom. Keyboards are a waste of money. So, bro, that's what I'm saying, bro. Absolutely. Uh, this is all according to a YouTube comment that I once got, by the way. This is what someone literally told me. Well, not, not to a T, but they basically said that they can basically hammer and chisel a keyboard for cheaper. <laughs> Flashbacks to one of those people. <laughs> What's up, the R&D KBD? Uh, $20, I can do it for $4. <laughs> That's some TikTok take. Oh man. I've been so turned off of watching social media stuff lately. It's, yeah, it rots your brain and stuff, but like everything's so fucking fake on it, man. I'm just so tired of it. It's all so fake. Everything's scripted. Everyone does stuff to make it look like natural and it's all scripted. It's all one big phony lie. And then everyone has the goal to say that it's like more real because it's filmed about your camera. Or you're on your cell phone? Yeah, right. Uh, got a new project in the words. I can send it to you first. You can get it first of all the streamers. Is it because we're Canadian? Is this the one time I can flex being a Canadian and getting stuff something first? There is nothing funny right. about you, smile. I heard funny about me. But you, it said phony. Did you guys hear funny or phony? I almost got offended there for a second. Wilkers, thank you so much, dude. <laughs> I skipped Winnipeg straight to Toronto. Let's go, dude. I was like, does Wilkers not like me anymore? Alex, no funny. The AI is gaslighting you. Serious. I am glad that we actually have the proper... Oh my God, please, go in. Sometimes TX tabs are super easy. Sometimes they are not easy one bit. Uh, speaking of being Canadian, what is the best brand of maple syrup in your opinion? See, as much as I want to tell you what the best brand is, I don't know. Um, there's, diff there's so many different types of maple syrup. Uh, I've got, I've been very blessed that one time someone in the keyboard community, uh, I believe one of their family members or someone they know, their family, um, I believe owned a farm that like a maple syrup farm, whatever, um, and, uh, or a plot of land and they did syrup themselves. So they sent me some over and that was really good. And then one time I, I got this, like, they have like different grades of syrup and I got like a, a darker grade and that was absolutely insanely delicious, but it really depends. It really depends. I, I, I will say, I, I don't discriminate when it comes to maple syrup. They're all very good. They're all super, super good. What's going on here? What's up, Dane? How you doing, man? What's your advice on coping with FOMO for keyboards? Uh, do you want the long-winded advice or do you want the quick and easy advice? Where'd I put the switches? Oh, they're still in the box. Which advice would you prefer? My guy explaining maple syrup like it's wine. <laughs> it is sorta. Oh, 
Nice, these go in beautifully. Long advice, por favor. Serverless, thank you so much for the tier one, man. I really appreciate Hi, that. Hi, Alex. What's up, man? All right, real note. We're gonna pause the music for this. Well, actually, maybe we won't pause the music. The way to combat FOMO with anything, it's a mentality diff, all right? You gotta just stop giving a shit about everyone else around you. And you got it, like, I think a large part of FOMO, at least for me, was I personally felt like if I wanted to be in this, this rectangle, this circle, whatever, I had to own things to be in this circle. And that's the, the lie that you kind of create for yourself. Or if someone paints that narrative to you, that's a, that's a bullshit lie. You don't want to be, if someone tells you you need to have something to be in a, in a community, then get away from those people. Those people are idiots. I think if you want to be, if you, like what you have to realize that you want to be in the keyboard hobby, you don't need to own anything. You can just be interested. And I think that's step number one. Step number two is switching your mentality uh, from FOMO to basically for the fear of missing out to the joy of missing out. Think about it like this. I've always explained it like this, right? When I was younger, um, I think a lot of people share this sentiment actually. Uh, when you had Pokemon cards you brought to school or for me, it, you know, like I never was able to afford a lot of Pokemon cards. So sometimes we'd have printouts of cards that we'd do at home. We'd print out the, the, the cards like Yu-Gi-Oh and stuff and that's how I played. And for me, Growing up, I never envied, there was maybe once or twice you'd feel a little bit of jealousy, but I never really envied anyone. It was just really cool to see what my friends brought in um, to school, like if they had a certain card. I remember someone brought like all the, all the things of Exodia, um, and it was just cool to see that. Like I got to see that in person. That is so cool. It was never about ownership. And I think as I was getting older, it became about ownership. And I think, you know, there's this idea like you're not successful, you're not this, you're not that. And if you just move the ownership aspect out of it, if you just enjoy that someone else is owning it and, and someone else is enjoying it, there is a, a fun sense of community that you can kind of create, um, you know, when someone else has something that maybe you can't have or Maybe it was like a, a raffle thing and they got it and maybe you maybe you get the next one, right? And then you have something that no one else has. But I think there is a joy that you kind of have to create for yourself um, of missing out in a way. Jomo, as some people call it. Uh, yeah, it's, it, I mean, realistically, it's practicing some empathy, practicing like to, to kind of uh, suppress some of your jealousy at the end of the day. I think they're healthy things in the long run. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I think that's like how I kind of beat it. I don't really like, I miss out on things all the time in this hobby and I just don't give a shit. Like I'll get the next one, you know, I'll, I'll get something else. So you guys tell me about something you guys have. Like, dude, I've seen keywords come through here that I'm like, holy shit. I wish I had this. I'm never going to get it, but I can appreciate someone else having it. That's, that's the, the beauty of it. Right. Um, it's, I think it's important to practice that kind of stuff. It'll make you less stressed in the long run for a lot of things. Joy of missing out. There's a, there's a joy. Truthfully, there is, right? There's a joy of it, right? I don't get disappointed when I uh, don't get things because it saves me money. There is that side of things too. Trying to print out a Kohaku to stick on one of my back of my, my Neo. There you go. You can do that too. Uh, there's a beautiful story about growing, uh, not gonna lie. Oh, this is a beautiful story about growing, uh, not gonna lie, when you do without, but then later it becomes accessible. There's a bit of transition that takes place. Yeah. I think you kind of get there in life. Most people do. Some people keep that jealousy bottled up and I don't think it's healthy, you know? Um, obviously we all feel jealousy. Like I think right now I'm going through a phase of jealousy perhaps in different senses in my life, but not ownership. Ownership of anything. I'm just kind of like, it's, it's whatever. I'll get there one day, you know? One day. I think most people don't notice until it's too late, but often when you rush to get something and then you finally get it, it's just a keyboard. Well, I've definitely had this happen too, where I've bought something and I'm like, damn, I just want to thrill spending a few dollars. That's it. 
And if you guys know me, when I was growing up, I had a big problem with that. I had um, a minimum wage job growing up until I was about 24-ish, 25. And I just had like, I just wanted to spend every dollar I had because it just felt good. And I'd always convince myself like, this is the thing I want this week. Like, I really want this. And it kind of ruined my perception of things for a long time. And that's why I've kind of made this very drastic shift of how I perceive things. Because I kind of, you know, grew up in this sense of like, dude, I want to be those cool. Like, I want to be like, you know, the people that are in my friend circle or whatever, or maybe someone I'm hanging out with this week. So, Rammer, how you doing, man? It's really just patience. Like, I'm not gonna lie. I really, I really want more camera stuff. Here's, here's something that I'm joy of missing out. I really want more camera stuff. I'm lucky enough that I have a few nice pieces of camera gear. I'm very grateful. I'm very blessed. There is still some stuff that are like insane that I would love to one time, you know, get. Like one of my friends recently picked up a Hasselblad. He got an X X2D. And he keeps telling me we should hang out because he wants to show it to me. And I'm not gonna lie, at first I'm like, bro, I wish. But then, you know, he quickly realized, I'm like, yeah, you know what, I wanna go see it. I wanna go see how happy he is. But I, I think there's, there's definitely a, a shift you kinda have to make personality-wise, right? Like, you can't just be jealous, you can't just be, I don't know, you gotta be more social with these kind of things too, like, you know? Instead of feeling jealousy for your neighbor, you gotta feel a little bit, you know, a little bit more social and kind of get hyped with your friends, opposed to, you know, putting them down because they got something you don't want. Um, a tilt shift lens, yes, please, one day, one day. But that's kind of again, that to, that's the long answer and how I would combat fear of missing out. You find yourself a nice little community, settle in, and you know what? Everyone has a little bit of something, and you enjoy the whole process of your hobby um, through the lens of others. That's it. That's the short answer. <sighs> to be honest, uh, if you ever get FOMO in this meetup, uh, go to a meet, or, sorry, in this hobby, go to a meetup, you get to see shit that makes other people proud to have. Yeah, it's very humbling, super humbling. I agree with Skullhead 100%, dude. Most of us can't buy everything. Yep, there's that as well. And that's why I'm saying, find a group of good people. You know, we have a Discord that people share things with and everyone gets hyped with. Even cameras, we've been talking a lot about cameras in the Discord, so. Uh, both builds in this week's... Yeah, 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 Noli. Uh, let's do... I mean, the Kohaku, I didn't really build that Kohaku Noli. I just kind of put keycaps on it, but yeah, sure, let's just do it. I think I more want to show off the X-ray keycaps for Mr. Matthew Encina. Got you, love you. My man, oh, there he is. <laughs> He's lurking in the background, that's crazy. Yeah, the only VOD we're doing this week because I have some VODs that I'm just, I'm falling behind on. So I want Manoli just to, to edit one real good one this week because we're just doing basically the, uh, the what's it called? The X-ray keycaps. Manoli, hey, Insty, bro, you might want to change that copy pasta. He doesn't go by Manoli visuals anymore. It has both? <laughs> oh, it does. <laughs> uh, Alex runs Sony. It's like a nerd horoscope. Wait, what happened? Alex runs Sony. It's like a nerd horoscope to guess the camera brands. Behind some. I don't run Sony. I run Fuji and like a... One day, maybe Hasselblad as well. Maybe I'll sell something to, for Hasselblad, but not anytime soon. I, I've never seen those cameras go on sale, so <laughs> not anytime soon. Fellow Fuji enjoyer. Yeah, I use this one. It's actually on my dad. I've been using this all day. I've been shooting all day today. A little Fuji, and then I got the, the flash thing on the top. A lot of fingerprints on it. Sell that kidney. Uh, no, it's a GFX 100S. These things, by the way, if you guys are actually interested in medium format, bro, you can buy 50 S's for dirt cheap right now. Same with 100 S's, you can get insane deals. I got an insane deal on this, insane deal. 
don't think you can get Hasselblad X2Ds though for like one to 4K. I think those still sell for quite a bit. If I can find the Hasselblad X2D for under 4K, I'd pick it up. That'd be fun. I'm so excited. I finally um, went to fix my camera only a few more weeks till it's done. Oh, is it shipping back to you now? Is this board wooden keyless at all? No, it's not. I always have to double check. Mirrorless cameras are great for beginners. They're also great for professionals as well. I don't even think many people use DSLRs anymore. Some people still use DSLR systems, I guess, in the high range of things, but I think most people have switched to, to mirrorless. It's a local store, they quoted me four to five weeks. Actually, local stores are great for fixing stuff too. If you can get like a good repair guy, yeah, they're really good. A6000 is a great little camera. I used it for such a long time. Uh, yeah, dude, right now mirrorless cameras, like I think they're everything. I don't think even people make much DSLRs anymore. I'm still on DSLR. Yeah, some people still might have some legacy ones. Like I still technically, I have a Nikon D90 at my parents' house. I don't ever touch it. <laughs> it's, I don't have any Nikon lenses anymore except for one. It's just so big compared to the mirrorless stuff. It's hard to justify bringing it around. Actually, this is, the GFX is really big. I would never bring this outside. This is purely a studio camera. I would say, honestly, dude, like, if just, if it makes you happy, it doesn't matter what it is. It doesn't matter the age of the camera. Right now, everyone's going after 2001 to 2009 point and shoots. I don't know why those, well, I know why. They're making such a big wave in the camera hobby right now. Everybody wants that old CCD sensor look. It's crazy. I've been even seeing it here on this, like when I go out, I see people with like Canon, like not even Canon, it's like some of the old power shots. Like yeah, I guess Canon and some of the old Sony cameras and from way back in the day. Crazy. Soldering time. I've been looking into um, X X Exacta from uh, Exacta, I guess. I've never actually used that before. From the 40s and 50s, love the images those take, like 300 bucks. Yeah. You shoot with what you have, and you have a fun time creating art. Creating art is very good for the soul and good for the mind. Burn, that is so kind of you to say, by the way. Appreciate you, bro. All right, how do the switches look on this? Do they look pretty? Yes, they do. Very nice. All right, let's solder this together. The point and shoots had different sensors versus the stuff today. So there is a little bit of an image difference I still, I still think the videos out of those old cameras are dirt, but some people like that old style. I like the images that they produce, just not the video. Uh, take care, man. See you at CMK. CMK, which one's CMK again? I don't know which CMK is. I'm, I'm going to the Toronto meetup and I'm going to uh, Toronto. Is that the Toronto meet? Is that what they're calling it? Are they even doing it? I didn't see any updates on it. Uh, I guess I'll see you there if we end up doing it. But uh, see you again soon, man. Appreciate you stopping by. <laughs> All right, let's let this warm up. And... Anytime, no worries, dude. CMK, I, I, I guess it's the Canada Mechanical Keyboard. Me oh, I guess it is Canada, that's right. I did do a keycap for the Canada CMK stuff, so. No, Utah ended up being too expensive. Um, here's my game plan for everything. Utah basically ended up being like with a hotel. Burnsy 140 you, Burnsy. gifted a tier one sub to the unknown corn 13. It was gonna be like a thousand three hundred bucks just to go to Utah for a weekend. And I just, I don't know, it's, it's a lot of money. I think I would rather put that money and go to the SoCal meetup, or I don't even know if it's SoCal, just the California meetup, and then 
uh, the other novel keys meet because it's actually cheaper to go to LA than it is to go to Utah for whatever reason. The flights were insane. And then it's also really cheap to go to Morgantown. It doesn't really cost me much at all to go to Morgantown. Ryan, uh, or, sorry, right, uh, ugh. Rai Dang, thank you so much for the, the prime, man. I appreciate you, dude. And Benson, Alex, it's my birthday right now. Love being on the stream. Can we get some happy birthdays for Benson in chat? Happy birthday, man. Yeah, I definitely want to go to the LA meet because I have a lot of friends in LA too and I, I think I can make more of the trip there than rather than just a quick weekend, you know, so I can get a little bit more out of it, so to speak. So I think that's going to be the game plan. If I go to the Novel Keys meetup, will Mike let me visit the uh, the money I gave him during the sale? I miss it. <laughs> You're gonna have to ask him very politely, maybe. That is funny though. <laughs> Alex, are you gonna be looking at the QK75 or 65V2 with Hall Effect? I don't know, man. I've asked to see. I've asked about like what other QK boards I can cover, and they have like a list of what they, they what content creators. I don't think I'm on that list for a lot of the stuff. If you want to see coverage, you'd have to kind of like ask them. Two months. Like many the community more would have to ask Best for it. Best wishes too. from London. Shimmy, thank you so much, man. Best wishes from London. Damn, love from Canada, bro. bit low on that Kester there, my guy. I uh, I know. But I have a whole other roll behind me in a drawer, so. Actually, I think I have two extra rolls. But you know what? I've had this solder for a while now. I think it's been like over a year. It does last a while. Actually, maybe it's been about a year. Hydrate, got you, Benson. Thanks a lot, I love this community. We love you too, man. No, Dallas meetup would be a no for me as well. It's just a lot of traveling and honestly, like, unfortunately, I'm not in a position where I can just stop working for like a few days or even a week, let's just say. Maybe one day I'll get to that point in life, but right now I have to be a little careful with what I do. Hi, Kim Lin Win, what's up? I've got an Ouroboros with Nixies. Oh, we're building the same thing. I'm using Nixies too. Oh, I, I didn't realize my shoulder's in the way. Sorry guys, let me switch. My camera's positioned a little bit differently today. I kind of like the position more, but obviously my shoulder gets in the way here. Uh, this is probably one of the nicest and friendliest communities I've ever been a part of. Problem. Thank you, man. I, uh, I take pride in that. I hope everyone's really nice here. Who did that? Hi, thank you so much for the prime. I appreciate you, man. Is the Ouroboros the purple thing on the right side? It is. I'll, I'll show it off again here once we're done uh, soldering in this PC. However, this might take a few extra minutes to solder because the solder's not flowing like the nicest of the pads in this PCB. Just a little slower to solder today. What did everyone have for dinner, by the way? Mr. Alex, missed the stream, but thank you for getting uh, me back into the keeb hobby again. Oh my goodness. What got you back specifically? Was like a certain article or piece of content or a video or community. Been watching ton of your videos of the Bauer Light. Oh, the Bauer's so good. I took a bunch of photos today of the Bauer Light. It's such a nice board.
Pork chops and rice with steamed veggies. I love pork chops and rice. With a nice sauce. Ooh. So good, dude. X-ray caps would go insane with the ghost bower light. Yeah, I, I have another bower light. One more that I need to build. And uh, I think it might be the ghost one, or it's, a, it's I think it's a special edition one actually. The first edition one or whatever it was called. Uh, you all very welcoming. Thanks man, I appreciate you dude. Uh, that's a great question, Boomer. I have no idea. I assume maybe in the future it will, but I, I couldn't give you like a definitive answer there. Uh, saw someone put MW Tosh on the Ghost Bower Light to make 2000s math inspired keyboard. Now I have my Christmas idea for my stepfather this year. Oh, that is gonna be sick. That is absolutely crazy. A lot of solder splatter. Gonna have to clean it up after this. Uh, would there be an interest? Um, oh, ISO option. Honestly, next time Garrett's in here, Omnitype, let's ask him. I don't know if there's an option in the future for that. That would be nice. I agree. Would be cool to see that. Thoughts on the new mode 65 coming out? No real thoughts right now, but I got one here. I'm gonna stream it on April 16th. And what, like a little over, I guess three weeks? Two or three weeks? We have one in a copper bottom. Cause I really wanted to take a look at the copper bottom. I, Dude, I'm so glad. I, I know they've done a lot of 65% boards, but I am very glad that we're getting this particular 65 back because I really liked the design and they've kind of tweaked it a little bit, so it looks nice. Also, no look, thank you so much for the Prime for three months, man. Thank you be for being part of this fantastic family here. Mode 65 is different from the Envoy. Envoy is a one-piece unit that's, um, a little different in terms of visual, well, a lot different in terms of visuals. And at the time, the old Mode 65 was not a, uh, it was a, uh, what's it called? Gasket mount keyboard, or was it gasket? It was gasket in, in silicone, or no, it's just top and, top and stack. Now it's a little different. You'll see more as they make more details, I guess. The Envoy is still fantastic though, so don't feel like the Envoy is not good. uses a totally different mounting system. The choice to go back to 65 again was interesting. I'm, I'm loving the magnetic accent though. It reminds me of the Geist AD60. Yeah, I think um, if I'm gonna make a prediction because, you know, being real, I don't think the loop was for everyone. It had a really uh, unique design to it, I'd say. Like the design language was a little bit more in a way, futuristic. I don't know if it resonated with everybody. And then the tempo was great. I loved the tempo. But again, tempo, layout-wise, I don't think it resonated with everyone, too. So they kind of had these two, in a way, more niche boards that came out recently. So it's, it's kind of nice that they went back to something that's a little bit more accessible, I guess, visually. I've noticed modes going towards more of like rounded designs in a lot of things, so. 60% tempo uh, look would be nice. The tempo is a beautiful board. Just, it's in, a, it's in a layout not everyone might like. That's all. Tempo sounded fantastic too. TKL lineup for mode, I feel has been super, uh, harder sell. The loop for looks and the other TKL for the price. I think TKLs in general are a tough sell sometimes. I'm not mode, but if I was mode, I would probably hold my horses with TKLs for a while. 
If I was mode, I'd probably explore other fun layouts like FRL TKL or just fun layouts in incorporation with their kind of design language. I think that would be more interesting. Um, I'm trying to decide between a copper versus brass weight on the Neo 65. I personally think copper is a nicer color than brass. I would go with copper personally. I'm a copper guy. Yeah, T kills is good for converting people, but 65 is better if people want to get serious. Well, I think any layout's good for people when I get serious. I just think more people resonate with 65s. Like, again, I use primarily 60s and 65s. And then sometimes, you know, it's cool to see the extended 65s. And Kind of where I'm at with boards, though. Sixty fives are a staple IMO. Sixty percent is the master race. God, I love FRL eighteen hundred. Um, sixty, but I love the Jubilee. Jubilee, it's really nice. Yes. Is loop switches on the shit list for GB vendors right now? No, I I haven't had any issues with boob switches. I've heard a few people have had like delays with things, but it seems like everyone's gotten their stuff or refunds for things that maybe they took too long. I wouldn't say they're on the shit list at all. I try to uh also take what I see on like Reddit and stuff with a grain of salt sometimes. Not for nothing, and I hate bringing these things up, but like, dude, I even saw that, that Reddit thread about the Canon Keys box being damaged in transit, and then it seemed like everyone was mad at Canon Keys for that. Just, it's like weird energy. Uh, functionality, 65% is all I need. I don't use the upro. Yeah, a lot of people don't. Uh, the CK stuff was wild too. The vendor trust and safety system has them as a not rate it. Oh, I mean like that makes sense. They probably just don't know much about them or something. They're not as a big vendor as some of the other brands are, but I don't know if I, do I have them on my uh, my list? If so, I should probably put them. I'm pretty positive I have loop switches there. Yeah, I would also take that with a grain of salt. I feel like there was some Reddit drama, but I'm glad you had good experience. Yeah, I've also had other vendors purchase from loop switches to send me things. And like I've used I would say about seven or eight batches from Lube Switches of their switches alone, and they've all been good. I haven't had any like, out there issues. I've had issues with both my orders. Would love to hear about those actually seeing stars. What were, what were the issues? It's always good to get like more abundance of like reviews and stuff. Some need numpads, some need Efro, some just want alphas. It's true. That is the absolute beauty of this hobby sometimes. Alrighty. <clears throat> um, if I get my product no damage, then I'm happy. If, if I see the box is damaged in transit, I'm not gonna blame the vendor. It's not the vendor's fault. You, nine times out of 10, it's just mishandling via one of the postal systems. I remember I got a client's keyboard in soaking wet um, because I guess the delivery person that day was carrying it in a bag outside. 
So not not the vendor's fault, not the client's fault. It was nobody's fault. It was, it was the delivery people. Why didn't the vendor hand deliver it? Hmm. A charge dispute? Oh, really, Art? All right, maybe that's something to look into as well. <laughs> they always find a way to destroy your package. Lube is are mostly their Cerakote services, but it takes uh, a bit longer than I've heard. Uh, but I've seen their Cerakote jobs and they're super high quality. I've also heard mixed things about the Cerakote timeframes as well. Uh, first one, never shipped. I quite a few months, they offered a refund the gift card. Gift card worked fine and I, got, I ordered a pre-order item, so no word yet as expected, but the refund never showed up and been a month, no contact now. Interesting. All right, something to keep in mind, seeing stars. Definitely something to keep in mind on my end too. Uh, chat, what springs does Alex use for Nixies? For my personal ones, 57 gram springs from TX Long. But very, very interesting seeing stars. I'm gonna keep that in mind. All right, these are good. Next up, keyboard. Long springs, yeah, the, the ones that say L on them. I don't have an example, unfortunately, so I can't quite show you right this instant, but. Um, I have heard of Bind Pad. It's a product from them and a bit nervous, but it's quality based on bad communication and shipping issues. Uh, I'm gonna be honest, I also got reached out by them a while ago and I was supposed to do a little look-sees at their product and I just never responded to the email because I, I don't know. I feel like there was nothing really to look at, and nor nor was I really interested in the product itself. I guess. So, I've heard a few mixed things about the Bind Pad in the past. I don't know if they've made improvements. So, space is amazing. Love Regan. We love Regan here. Um, Regan, if you guys want to talk about someone who's super good quality in, in the hobby for doing some service work like that, Mr. Regan is insane, dude. Space Cables does some great stuff uh, for that. Also, I don't know if the owner's watching right now. I am not gonna put these on. Um, I will let you put the, or if you want, I'll message you afterwards. But these end up always falling off. Like I swear, every board I've ever built, people say they always fall off and then they kind of bounce around. It's all good, no need, perfect BLR. <laughs> I honestly find them more of a hindrance because then they make like shaky stuff. You know, every time I've ever used them, I fall. All right, let's unscrew this bad boy. Where did I put my other set of screwdriver stuff? Hmm. Where did I put the other set of screwdrivers? I don't want to use that one there. Did I put it to the other room? Maybe, hold on one sec guys. Uh, I want my package personally delivered on horseback within two days and with no damage, and I want free shipping. Yeah, and then they'll proceed to still make a Reddit thread about how bad the shipping was because it was on a horseback, and they'll be like, hey, my stuff was shaken. I'm really upset about that. Why was it on horseback? <clears throat> All righty, let's do this. I got a portal, Sarah quit it with lube, and it also took a long time. The communication was also pretty bad. He showed me the finished board and was shipped about two weeks later, which didn't make sense. Interesting, 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 interesting. Gonna have to have a little chit chat if I do pick up the protagonist to review. There's more to life than Reddit. Exactly. What do you think a good mid-range 65% board that's unique? Um, I wouldn't say it's exactly like the most unique in the world, but the Tofu 65 polycarbonate is actually quite nice because it has a really cool weight on the back. I'm uh, kind of a fanboy of that right now. Also, BLR, would you prefer gaskets on the, the case or on the PCB for this? I personally think the case works better, but on the case, perfect. The 
the rabbit weight was still in stock. You know what's funny? I actually don't like the rabbit weight, but I, I know a lot of people really liked it. Overall, the Cerakote was very good, but yeah, the communication and shipping label was uh, being made, not shipped until weeks later was odd. Yeah. That's happened to me with actually a few people. That, that's actually like, I haven't really talked about it because I think neg neg uh, negative press is still press. Now, there's a few vendors that I've had really slow communication with that have just been like, they grind at my gears with things. And that's why some of the more, I guess, other, like not popular, but some of the more niche popular vendors, I guess, like kind of a mix of the two. I had to stop recommending them because I don't really like that business practice where people take forever to get back to emails, but also still want to run, 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 uh, run a business. So it's not quite my favorite thing in the world. I've also given up on group buys because of that too. No, I actually don't know what BLR wants to use for this. I don't know what we're going to use. No, so these Nixies were lubed and spring swapped. I don't know what the client used for lube. I think it's just 205. Yeah, I'd say Kono is probably the worst out of all the brands for that. Um, and then I believe it was my keyboard EU that was also pretty pathetic for that as well. Among tons of other things. <clears throat> the chat have fun with keycaps. <laughs> you know what they're gonna vote for, right? Oh shit. It is not like the purple case. You know what they're going to vote for. Kono does have like everything though. You know, okay, you know what vendors I think have been super awesome that I've been shopping from? Uh, R&D KBD, fantastic. Mechland, I've had really good experiences with. Um, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll kind of go through the list. Desk Hero, Ash Keebs, I've had really good experiences with. I haven't ordered from Apex in a long time, but Apex has always been pretty solid. Um, Shockport here in Toronto is good. Uh, Mino is super good too. Yeah, Novel Keys, I hope they're good. They seem pretty decent. Yeah, Neckland is super awesome. And then if you want to get out of Canada, I guess, uh, Divinity Key has been awesome. Dankeebs. Dankeebs, super underrated vendor, in my opinion. Um, yeah, that Omni type guy, he's okay. And then we have uh, tons of other good vendors too in the United States. Space Cables, a lot of really great vendors in the United States. Can't probably name them all. Jay? Jay's UK though, right? I'm still, I'm still gonna shill for the protagonist. He literally covered a whole keycap set with his own money for the U.S. customers because the U.S. vendor scammed us. Well, Let's I'm still go. here for the protagonist as well. months. Hot damn, love your brother. I'm, I'm, I'm faithful. The protagonist will be good. Very faithful. It looks like a beautiful looking keyboard too. So I'm pumped up for it. Uh, if you're in C, some parts of Asia, there's Cordy Pop. Cordy Pop's amazing. RX Chaser, thank you, man. Chaser with 42 fucking months, bro. Chaser, how's life been, bro? Oh, I thought you said protagonist. My bad. Pro I mean, Jay is amazing. Pro pro uh, prototypist is absolutely fucking awesome. Helheim Design is great. He's okay. I don't mind Angel once in a blue moon. <laughs> He's all right, you know. I guess we do have to unscrew the weight here, don't we? All right. Aiden, what's up, dude? Um, Daily Clack for Aussies? Dude, I I used to order back in the day. Daily Clack had stuff that I couldn't get anywhere else. I would order from them constantly. Constantly. I have a whole list, by the way, guys. I know we're talking about it here, but if you guys want, it's on my website of people like I trust and stuff, so. Do you see the updates on the centerpiece? Uh, I haven't really been keeping up with some of the updates for things. I've been... I have kind of my eyes set on a few other things I've been really keeping tabs on, so I've been a little bit bad with keeping up with everything. This board or ARC-60? 
Well, I've actually never finished building like one of these boards in the past. Like I've never built one. So it's hard to exactly say. Oh, they have the screws on the inside, lovely. So I'm gonna do this a little off stream towards the bottom here. The new mode 65 we, we will be building in like two or three weeks. Tap, thank you so much for the prime for two the months. The purple looks really good. It does look super good. It's a good looking purple. I was so scared the JST screws weren't in there after I shipped it. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be honest, BLR. <laughs> I hate when companies and brands do this. I, I would prefer it in a baggie to ensure that it's there. You know, then rather than having to disassemble your entire keyboard just to make sure screws are there. I hate when they put the JST screws thread it in here and then you're forced to disassemble everything. I'm with you on there. It gives me, it makes me nervous even when I get boards. Definitely makes me a little on edge. Uh, I'm not gonna be building a polycarbonate one, no. I was gonna, and then I thought, I'm more personally interested in the copper version. So I opted to ask for the copper version. I feel like I know what the polycarbonate boards are gonna sound like. So I'm not super keen and interested myself. I hope that's, I hope that's okay. Hydrate, give me one moment. I want a brass, I want a brass in my derivative. Brass derivative? Like an all brass one? don't like the way they did this. I think this is not my favorite way they've implemented the daughter board here. It's so tight against the edge of this case over here. But it's okay, we'll make it work. Hopefully we can make it work. Uh, I'm still using the old Note 65. Nice to see a new model in the works. I think a lot of people end up really liking it. So it's gonna be fun. Perfect. I do appreciate them using one bit for everything though, it seems. That's nice. Full copper tempo a few weeks ago, the sound signature surprised me. That's exactly why I want to do the Mode 65 with some of the more fancier parts. Um, because I genuinely think the Mode 65, like even when I did the Tempo, like the polycarb sounds are nice. But I think Mode aluminum boards always sound so good. The Sonnet surprised me a lot with the polycarb bottom. I loved the polycarb bottom on the Sonnet. Cause you can put a weight in it, right? Like a really dense weight, unlike some of the other Mode boards where they're a little bit thinner. Uh, so that particular board was primo to me. Probably one of my favorite mode boards with polycarbonate. Definitely one of my faves. Um, I don't exactly know all the price ranges for it, no. Oh boy. Man, I thought this cable would be a good length, but not really, I guess. Really gonna make this difficult for me here. We're gonna really have to finagle this. Cause he can't put the weight on later, which is a little weird. Uh, the Molly is okay. Some unacceptable issues with the PCB that haven't been resolved. Really? What happened with the PCB for the Molly? Oh my God, they really needed to just increase this by like, dude, I still don't get how this happens so often with different PCBs. Does nobody think people like,
Uh, is there any full brass copper boards coming? Full brass? Man, it's so rare to see something full brass, to be honest. So, so rare. You want to know why? Not a lot of people go with full brass. It's very expensive. And I would say the majority of people who are probably going to order a specific board will just skip on the full brass version. Dude, magnetic cables, they're the future of this hobby. I still haven't gotten my Molly from the original GB. KFA had to QC and sort everything because NLN didn't ship the labels. PCBs were packaged loose, not individually wrapped. I feel like everyone else has gotten their Molly. How come KFA hasn't shipped them out yet? I understand like everyone, I know everyone had to do QC stuff for it. Was there just more ordered from KFA? Was that what happened? There's controversy going on with NLAN keys. I know, I read some of it already. I was hearing some of it too and I was just like kind of shocked in a way as well. So I've heard uh, KFA is notoriously bad with group buys. Um, I've not had any crazy experiences with KFA. They've definitely been a little sh uh, slow to ship, but no, no QBV2. Nothing that I know of yet. Nothing that I have been told about, nothing like that. Uh, can you do a huge favor? If you have an aluminum PC bottom, can you do a quick comparison? Oh. Uh, I have both bottoms for you. That sounded really sus. I'm not trying to be, but I have both. I don't have them prepared at the moment. Yeah, I don't have anything prepared for that. Let me prepare both bottoms for the Sonnet and I will do a sound test for both for you. Let me get like, let me, let me probably do that in like the next like few days, I guess. Dude, this is flexy. Oh, wait, this is gonna, I feel like this is gonna bottom out. Maybe we have to put a piece of paper on the bottom or something. <laughs> oh, this is nice purple. Damn. With them directly and they're heavily delayed and their customer support isn't very responsive. Did they ever end up um, like endland keys? Like they said things were gonna ship out in a week. Did they end up fulfilling on that promise or no? KFA is the slowest Kono store, but with an active discord and more in stock stuff that's never, or that's newer. Yeah, I guess so. American version of Kono, maybe? No internal weight, but I have a weird feeling that this may bottom out, but we're gonna see what keycaps to use. Oh, wait, I have an idea of a keycap set, only if you trust me. Uh, Azim, yeah, go, go for it. It's a bouncy boy. Uh, and Alex, we trust, perfect. We only have the Reddit responses, but people are claiming in stock orders are not shipped or very delayed. It's unfortunate. I reached out too and I got the same response as everyone else did, so. All right, this is my last new GMK set. Oh, my camera is blocked by my back. You guys want to use this? This would be nice. I think this would be kind of cool. <clears throat> All right. Let's do predictions. <laughs> hey, hey. From the KFA staff on Discord, it sounds like they only focus at one thing at a time in order. If an order of something comes in, they don't ship it until everything else is finished. Interesting. Don't, I guess I kind of understand that, but it's interesting. I have different ideologies when it comes to things like this, so. Uh, but again, if you guys want like my thoughts on vendors, 
without me saying anything. I think the easiest way is to go to my vendor page list. I don't think KFA is awful at the end of the day. I just think they're probably a bit slow. Um, there are some vendors that are much worse offenders. Uh, but yeah, there, there are certain vendors that don't even pop up on my, my list because I just, I've had really bad experiences with it. So no, the box is not upside down. This is the right side up. Here, I'll show you guys the box. All right, prediction time. You guys know the rules. Will this set be messed up, yes or no? Yeah, again, I think two American vendors that are very underrated that I normally don't talk about is probably gonna be Dang Keebs and Divinity Key. Both of those vendors are fantastic. I think Dang Keebs definitely has more like cutesy stuff. Um, they have some, they have more taxi kind of switches. Diviniki has like a good variation of everything I'd say. But it just kind of depends on what you're going for really. So now I can drop, uh, I can drop by now. Do they have a, a store you can go into for dang keys? Oh gosh. Okay, stay, stay. What are you guys gonna vote? If I order GMK muted from Switch Mod, will I get it? Switch Mod. Which one's Switch Mod again? Dankies Goat It, one of my favorite Switch vendors. Yeah, they're they're great. Pretty neck and neck Switch Mod. Oh, I've seen this vendor. Um, I have no idea. I've never personally interacted with them. But uh, are they on my list? Because usually people recommend things and they're on my list. But I I haven't shopped from everybody on my list. Let's see, switch mod. Oh, I guess I have never ordered from them or heard of them. Is switch mod like an OG? I assume so since Krellbit is OG. Oh, this is Krellbit's website. It's been so long, man. I guess I need to add this to my list. Switch. So where are they based, US? All right, guys, you have a few more minutes to vote. Well, a few more seconds, rather. It's your job to order from every vendor, including vendors in AliExpress and Timu and Amazon. <laughs> it feels good to be back in the key world after a short five month break. Damn, too much happened to IRL or something? Oh, really? That's unfortunate. All right. Here we go. Don't get upset with me if this is messed up. It was pretty down the middle. So this isn't gonna be anyone's anyone's game or anyone's victory rather. We'll see. We shall see. I'm already upset. Oh my gosh, I can never win here. Any bulging? It doesn't look like it. So maybe this is gonna be a good a good set here. Alright. Okay, so nothing stuck as we were pulling this up either. That's a good sign. F keys looking good. I don't think I've ever seen F keys bad though. Oh, that is absolutely perfect. Looking good so far. Okay, a little wibble wobbly, but that's still good. That's still that's still great. I'm not gonna complain. A little wibble wobbly, but that's still acceptable. Oh, I I know this is shifted over, but I I never count those as bad. So I mean, this is not terrible. Is something off over here? No, we're good. This is good. This is good. Hold on. No, we're good. It's not fucked up. It's not fucked up. There's nothing fucked up about this. No fucked up. Not fucked up. Wow, not bad. Congrats GMK for not fucking up this one. Okay. <clears throat> Okay.
okay, okay, okay. Not fucked up. All right, let's put some keycaps on. Hey, listen, I'm, I, I never tell you guys these things, but I'm not gonna lie, this fell. <laughs> uh, the other day when I was cleaning out my new keycaps, this like tumbled off the top shelf. So I'm very surprised, by the way. <laughs> very surprised. Uh, was also not fucked up when I opened it. So it was rigged. It was not rigged. I just, I mean, how can I rig it if it's in the plastic? The tumble rearranged it back. Perhaps it did. Was there any accents in this kit? I don't remember if there was or not. I don't know. need this guy. And then I also need these guys. What's up, Gio? How you doing, man? Oh. <clears throat> Bearded Bob, thank you so much for the raid, man. I appreciate you. Hope you're having a great day today, dude. Okay. I don't know if, oh my God, dude. I'm a little scared this is gonna, like, I'm, I'm scared this is gonna bottom out. Like, I'm genuinely thinking this is gonna, it is what it is. If it does BLR, the, the easy way to fix this is we just put a piece of paper or something to break the contact between the bottom. My God, though, that's flexy. Okay. Damn. What'd you guys end up doing, Bearder Bob? Oh, did you say you're taking off? Oh, I don't know if he did or not, but I hope you had a great stream, bro. All right, short shifts. Then we need a function and the super keys. He was modding a mouse? Oh, hell yeah. I need to clean my mouse. This, this grip on these MX Masters gets so dirty so quickly. My face, when he didn't go sp split backspace, I think the owner said full backspace. Well, you're making me second guess myself. No, full backspace. Guys, I'm a, I'm a 60 user with full backspace as well. I am also a full backspace enjoyer. I almost feel like I probably should have put all the keycaps on before. Because I feel like I'm too scared to put pressure on this thing right now. Alright, meme god, I'll look right now for you. Where in Discord? Discord DMs? Why am I not seeing anyone DMs today? I don't see it. <laughs> Meme God, I got no DMs. Also, BLR, what springs did you put inside this? These are so light. TPK, thank you so much for the tier one, man. Hit me with your favorite space bar switch. Nixies. Easy peasy. Actually, and curry switches lately. Those have been awesome. 45? Oh, man. Bro, I'm not going to lie. I don't think I've ever per like uh, used 45 grams in any of my personal keyboards. I'm so curious to see if I can type on these without me like pressing everything. You messaged, you DM'd me? Meme God, I have no DMs. Bro, I'm not gonna lie, bro. You're in the spam section. I have no idea why. You, I've never had anyone go to spam. That's crazy. I'm gonna be honest with you, bro. I'm gonna accept it right now though. <laughs> it's 
It's probably because the video you, link you sent me is kind of, it probably flagged something. Uh, worried about botting out. Have you ever seen a keyboard topping out? What happened here? <laughs> what the fuck? I need to show you guys this. Can I, can I show them? <laughs> can I show them? All right, hold on. Uh, let me, let me window capture. Oh, is this going to work? I guess not. Hold on one sec. Uh, hold on, hold on. Discord. All right, check this out. Check this out, guys. Oh, wrong thing here. Discord. Wait, hold on. Why isn't it letting me show you guys this? Hold on one sec. I need to res reshape the screen here. One sec, guys. Window capture. Oh my god. Honestly, I need to lock more things in my goddamn thing here. There we go. All right, check this out, guys. Ready for this? Oh wait, that's my music. He said, you're worried about botting me out, but you've ever seen topping out. <laughs> what board is that, meme god? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Bro, that is so cursed. <laughs> what board is that? Yo, that's a living, breathing keyboard. Not even I know. Wait, is that your is that your board? Like, did you record that video? That's when meme cuts go dis disgracingly wrong. That's like meme cuts on steroids type thing. Where'd I put the number one? I found it on the Atelier Discord. Oh my gosh. Please meme, uh, put that in Discord. That's so cursed, everyone needs to see it. Yeah, you should totally put that in the Discord. Chozo? What's Chozo got Let for the me sun today? never blind your me sleep, so my teeth won't grind slash hear a sound from a voice inside. Who's that from, Chozo? Which, which band? Because you always do sound uh, music lyrics here. I know, dude, Chozo has been here. He's like an OG. I'm surprised Chozo doesn't have a Founders badge. But I think the people who have Founders badges are like personal friends who subbed to me when I was doing other stuff. Uh, this is this set. This is a great set, by the way. I needed something like this, so I picked this up. Classic retro, I can't pronounce that, Zuyin? Is it Zuyin? Fantastic set. Absolutely great. Close enough. This is nice. I might have to go readjust the PCV. I feel like it's not sitting 100% the way I want it to in this, but I don't know what else I can even readjust it with. Uh, Grind by Alice in Chains from the album Alice in, Ch Alice in Chains 1995. Okay, okay, Chozo. Uh, yeah, how do you pronounce it, Insty? Do you know how? Is that why you said close enough? Just picked up CRP um, Fuji. Um, I have to say, wow, Fuji is a, are you, wait, CRP, oh. Wait, which set's that one there? Can you link it to me, Burn? Dude, this set looks so good on this board. Yep, beige is a sick set. Like, you can't go wrong with a classic colorway like this. Especially with bright colored boards. Dude, they look so sick, dude. Oh, this does look great. Actually, you know what? Just to kind of show off the board a little bit more, let's use the cork pad. Although this is a comically big cork pad for this. 
that kind of brings out the purple a little bit more. Bro, these 45 gram springs paired with the really flexy keyboard too. Like, look at this from the side. Hold on, let me show you guys this. I'm not even doing much and I can see this thing vibrate. <laughs> oh my God. Damn. All right. Again, I might have to tune some of the modifiers here in a bit, but we'll see how this sounds. I think everything's soldered in good for Plateless 2. I don't think I have to readjust any switches. Thank goodness. That turned out maybe the pipe key a little bit. Perhaps I'll go readjust that. That seems like it's a little off. But usually with Plateless, I always have to readjust like one or two things. But Alpha has turned out great. Pipe key, I have to fix. That does look real good though. All right. Let's see how this sounds like. This feels really good. Like, never mind the sound. It's hard to describe. It's so soft. Ooh, my stomach is growling. Like, it's so soft. I, I, if you're, I guess, if you're a big fan of something like, like, look at this. This is a soft feeling keyboard. It sounds great, though. I have to admit. For something with such a small weight on it, because this is how big the weight is. I am surprised by the, uh, does it flex if you shake it? No, it won't flex if you shake it. <sighs> oh, that'd be funny, meme god. It definitely has, it, it looks like it's kind of inspired by the new, I'm not gonna lie. Need to tune the backspace a little bit. <laughs> it's it's just funny to see this thing like shake. It's like jello. Look at this. It it doesn't look real. Sounds good though. Yeah, I have to say it, for a 1.2 mil PCB, it almost sounds like, it sounds really full, which again is surprising for this board because it does have a smaller weight, but this is pretty. This is very, very pretty. I very much like this board, but Price point's a little high. I can know this is not really a review. This is a client board. Price point's a little high, but it is pretty. The, the purple on this is fantastic. It's it's one of those purple boards that I think if you're really into like something very saturated looking, this is a stunning purple. I, I, I can't say, I've, maybe it's been a while, but the last time I typed on something this bouncy, it's, it's, been, a, it's been a while. Damn, I'm also scared to take the keycaps off. <laughs> I really am, dude. 
This is going to like, I think I might have to take this apart and then take the keycaps off. Uh, criminally undersold board. It might be because of the price point. This might have scared some people off back when this ran. But honestly, this sounds really good. God, I got to say, it does sound great. Alex, if you want to just throw this in the box with the... No, Adam, you know what? No, no, no. BLR, do we like it? The only thing I need to fix is this one key right over here. Then I just desolder it. Well, just reflow it and push it in. More like a red purple. Did Shub stop doing stuff in general though? Like, is he done done? Ah, uh, what a fun build. I like doing stuff I haven't taken a look at yet. This is really cool. Ouroboros. Zosco, really? I, I don't know why, man. I actually like these more than the uh, Future Funk, only because this looks like very soft and looks like a cloud. I don't know, maybe, maybe it's just me. I think I'm more into this uh, than I was Future Funk. Yeah, yeah, everyone has their own opinions, right? Like everyone can say like they liked other stuff more. I think Future Funk goes with more though. Cause I think these, they might not look great on some boards, but this definitely looks great with polycarbonate. I gotta admit. Yeah, 400 group by price might've scared some people off back in the day. Still probably will, it's expensive. But it does sound really good, I have to admit. I I am shocked that this doesn't sound hollow. I almost thought after seeing the weight originally, I was like, damn, this is going to sound pretty thin. But it, it is not at all. Very, very shocked by that. So excellent board. Plateless boards are always great, though. I always like plateless. There's two things I'm always going it back and forth to. It's polycarb and plateless builds. I always end up saying, you know what? Maybe I need to take a break from doing uh, plateless. Maybe I need to take a break from doing polycarb from doing too much. But I got to admit, man, every time I go back to it, I'm so into plateless and I'm so into polycarbonate. Did you build the Magnum 65? Hold on, which one? Hold on, let me see if I have. Are you talking about this one, man? I haven't opened it up yet. Are you talking about this thing? Well, let, let's take a look at it. <laughs> this thing is silly looking. I've seen the photos of it. It looks ridiculous. Let's open it right now, just really quickly. Oh, wrong side. Are you a firearms enjoyer? No. Not that I've ever used any. Uh, it's in plastic right now, but it has little bullets on the side. And then, it's cool. Lord have mercy. I think this is the first keyboard I've ever seen with like a custom battery wrap. It has like weapons on it. It's interesting looking. We're gonna be building it in like two weeks. I think there's gonna be a handful of people who really enjoy this. I think this is a limited edition run though. Kind of gaudy, not gonna lie. Oh yeah, dude, this is definitely not for everyone. It's not for everyone, definitely. I actually have a few prototypes I thought the next month or two was gonna be a bit slower with prototypes, but it's it's not now. All of a sudden it kind of picked up a little bit. New meaning to keyboard warrior. GB's on the 29th to uh, 28th of April. Yeah, I'll be doing it like second week, not even of April. I think like early, early or late first week of April type thing. Oh, all right, well this turned out great. I'm gonna take a few pictures of this guy. Just cause I've never seen this keyboard before in person. Sounds really good though, gotta admit. You didn't film these Nixies too, right BLR? I don't know why, I also have an affinity for not filming Nixies lately. I've been kind of enjoying the not filmed life. 
they no longer doing a regular one now, both FE version and regular with HE switches and HK uh, polling or 8K polling. A lot of people have been giving me mixed feedback on the 8K matrix PCB. It seems like a lot of people in the keyboard hobby just don't give a shit about 8K um, polling rate, which is unfortunate because I think it's, it's just nice to have, but people were like up in arms about the matrix board having like 8K polling. Some people just thought it was like, the human brain, like, humans can't even react that. Why do you need it? Why not? It's too much of a gimmick even for gaming. But, you know, I have to say this. As, as I have some friends who are really into, um, I guess, you know, the, the high performance, high end of gaming. And they will say that 8K mice and 8K, like, like just 8K polling rates for them are perfect. They say they can feel the difference. I don't know how much is true. I'm fine with using my basic ass keyboards for playing video games. I still suck. I suck even the same amount with 8K polling. So <laughs> I think it just really depends on what you're looking for, right? Double blind test your friends for science. I should, huh? I definitely should. <laughs> High rates are good if you have the setup to not bottleneck your frame rate. Yeah, I guess so. There's also that too, because it is taxing on the CPU, I suppose. All right, well, this was really fun. BLR, thank you so much for letting me build your board. I'm, I'm hoping you really like it. I'm just gonna do a few tweaks to it, like two in the backspace a little bit more and re-solder this switch so it sits perfectly straight because I don't like how it's sitting like that. And then just give it like a once over. Thanks so much for letting me build it though, man. Thank you for building it, appreciate you. Let's go see if we can go raid. Speaking of photos, oh, we gotta do photo thing. Let's go do the photos first, actually, before we finish today's stream. You guys are right. We gotta do photos. Where the fuck's my Discord? I always lose it. Here it is. Let's do photos. Photo area for Sunday. All right, where did I leave off? Do you guys remember? Oh, I pinned it. All right, all right, all right. Let's start sharing Discord again. Window capture. Well, let me make it a little bit wider this way. Does that work? Let me, let me click into one. You have been gregged. Of course someone put this. You have been gregged, apparently. We've been gregged. All right. Who put this picture? Ken? I'll give you a little eyes emoji. Uh, remember me? Dude, this was at the meetup. I have this sticker somewhere in my room. <laughs> this is the ultimate cursed Greg. And they put it on the Mode Envoy Alex Odos edition. The ultimate and cursed Gregs. Panel Gregs. <laughs> the act absolute ultimate. We love it though. Uh, basically either go with 3D print What's this, sorry? Let me turn off stream remote. I don't know why it automatically, cheese man. This is a board you're building? Have I seen this before? I feel like I have. Interesting. Good food. What's this? I'm gonna be honest, I don't really know what this is. I want an explanation, plastic. What else do we got here? Looks like a sponge. Why does it look orange? Probably the sauce. Avocado toast. I'm not a fan of avocados. I don't want to get down into that rabbit hole of... <laughs> I, did, I forgot they made a keyboard mat this big. I always forget they do. Actually, this is a good set on the Odin. Avocado pizza toast? Damn. Ooh, this is a keycap set I have not seen in quite a while. On the forever? Damn. Give that a little heart. Is this not an Odin? Oh, is this an Austin? My bad. Is this an Austin? <laughs> Whoops. Is it an Austin? It is, right? I don't know why I got it confused. It's a Clara? I don't know. My bad. What's this? Redact it. Buddy? Leave me alone. Oh shit! Hold on, we're doing... 
Damn. Okay, hold on one sec. We're doing it. We're doing a. Is this gonna be messed up? Where's the pipe key? Well, unfortunately, that was messed up. Hey, it's still messed up though, Dane. Is this real? Do you have a wall painted yellow? If so, that's really cool. Chat, is this real? Wait, so what was that other keyboard? Was that not, let me see. I need to go back now. What keyboard's this? I, t I don't remember, guys. I honestly don't know all the keyboards in the world. <laughs> is it cake? What board's this? Th this I don't even know. I think this is a matrix or a drop board. Also, this is really cute with the Instax there. I gotta get myself some of those Instaxes. Oh, shit. Hey. Lightroom on the phone is so bad. It's a Drift Mechanics Clara? Oh, interesting. I don't think I built that ever. Lightroom on the phone is so bad. It makes my phone 1000 degrees Celsius almost instantly when you boot up the application. But you did great at editing these photos with your camera. Like, this is amazing, dude. Especially with your, like, your phone. Fantastic. The universe is such a nice board. Man has Norse, but didn't put uh, didn't put on the universe. Hey, but you know what? This is still a great choice. Norse on that color though goes absolutely insane. Oh, uh, what's this guy? Oh, a little themed out shot here. Okay, I like it. What do we got for? First time working with Apple Pro images and one hour of Lightroom on my iPad. The first set is highlighted a little bit and the second's more rustic appearance. Perfect remake for my mechanical keyboard. I can happily say this is my end game keyboard. Ducky 1-2 MIDI Tofu 60 redo with brass right. Okay, cool, cool. Uh, Universal aluminum plate, Gator on Oil Kings with Duroc Stabs, GMK Redacted. I like the creativity you put into this, man. Appreciate that. I would have never guessed, well, it's kind of a little hard to tell the case here, but it, it's, it's nice looking. Uh, what else do we got here? Ugg Tug. Where's this? And before someone in chat says, you should know where things are, Alex. I'm so bad with knowing what places are too. These are nice photos though. It looks relaxing there. Ooh, wait, are these renders? Is this real chat? Oh yeah, that's the, is that the Osume box? These are really cute pictures. That's really, really cute. I like the use of the, the Osume box. I think this is the Osume box, right? The first photo looks like England to me. The rest looks like deaf US, probably Ohio or something. I have no idea. GMK dots, gotta like it, gotta like it. Is this on the... Brutal 65, I was about to guess that. I should pick up a set of dots. Cosplay TKL by Waifu Works. I have never seen this board before. If it ever wants to load. Ken, whenever I load your pictures, they always take five ever. Whoa. I didn't even know this board existed. Is it gonna load? Whoa. One. I'm gonna hit open in browser because I want to see this up close. Oh, interesting. I had no idea this board was a thing. How much was this? Oh shit, that side profile is pretty insane. Ooh. It's a small run from the, the weeb slash waifu discord. This is actually really nice. Oh, these are great photos, by the way. I, mean, I want to see this picture in particular. 
Or actually, maybe the other one. Actually, it's, let's see the other one. It's top down, the other one. I like how they incorporated a badge there and a badge there. That's actually a really fun idea to use. Dare I ask how much this was? Dare I ask? This looks really expensive. Like just the machining alone on the side over here looks so expensive. Um, Zayla, universe, beautiful keycap set on it. Let's go. At least $3, I'd guess. Was it 600 bucks? 600 seems like a pretty fair price in that case. Universe, so nice, dude. Yeah, such a nice thing. $500 to $600? So has this run yet? Honestly, that'd be so cool to take a look at. <laughs> dude, it's... That was so funny, I gotta admit. 600 shipped? Not bad. What else we got here? Some patterns. Love it. This is a fun shot. Finally building my universe tomorrow? Do it, dude. How deep are we gonna go? For which, oh, for today? Well, we'll see how far we go with this. Oh, I like the contrast here. You did a really good job with the contrast there. A lot of patterns, I like that. And good leading lines. Kind of makes your, I wish this had something to focus on at the very end though. But this is really awesome. Really, really awesome. Honestly, would have never guessed you did this with your phone either. I meant with the sticker? Oh, we're gonna keep doing it. If people wanna keep sending me boards with stickers, then we'll keep doing it. What's this, Dean? Oh, the Corsa. All right, Dane, all right. Dane, I have to admit, you have a couch that's the perfect just color texture for taking photos on. Like, it's so nice. Every single time I see you put like a, any, like a keyboard on it and take some pictures, Beautiful. My first solder job from like two years ago for my stepfather, uh, they they just didn't make keys like this anymore. Uh, KBD 75 with Mecca one. This was a fun keyboard. I mean, didn't they redo this kind of recently? Or they did like a variation of the KBD 75? But I remember a lot of people being super into that board. Looks great though. Open road on my way home today. Ooh. It's so interesting seeing this. Because I'm like, I'm so, I guess, desensitized by the city. Glare TKL. Fuck, I should have gotten one of these. This is a keyboard I kick myself in the ass about all the time, by the way. It looks so nice. I know, we got it, we got to say Jomo for sure. Hi, Angel. Let's see, we got some more pictures here. Very nice. Again, I love these type of shots, but I'm trying to not do them much myself anymore. I, I do it way too much where I have like, it look they look great by the way, but I do it way too much. This is like my go-to. This is fun actually, I like this. Um, Let's see. Oh, nice. Those are fun artisans. Man, should I get back into collecting resin? I feel like that's a rabbit hole I don't want to go down. <laughs> Angel. <laughs> huh? Spiders are cool. I always like spiders. I've always been a spider guy. Bro, this is what you guys saw the other day. This, when I saw this picture in the morning, on Discord and general chat. This is, I don't know what happened the other day during stream, <laughs> but this is what you guys were watching. A AI draws, Alex. Uh, AI could never, dude. This is Picasso. This is literally like, yeah, this is pretty much Van Gogh. Modern art. <laughs> it looks great. I skipped fried though. Let me look at fried's. Uh, didn't I build one of these recently? Is this the OGR? Yeah, this is so nice. The OGR was such a sick board, by the way. You know what I'm curious about, Fried? How your sticker went on. I feel like the sticker was nerve wracking. Uh, it's like the Alex Miss with DJ Wheat. It's creepy, it was creepy looking at it. Another couch picture, I gotta use my couch to take pictures. My couch is ugly though. My couch is like a cheap, cheapy couch. 
This is nice. What port is this? Alu Bolt? I don't remember this. It's your evil doppelganger, Eleatos. <laughs> this is very, very cute, by the way. This is the cutest picture I think I've seen in this ever. Who did this? Skullhead? The cutest picture. And it's on theme, too. I like the choice of backdrop. It works so well with this. Yeah, this is really good. It, it's so good, dude. This is a, by the way, this is a keycap set. Again, I wish I had picked up. Photo of the Cycle 7. Oh, beautiful. Hey, you got stickers in yours too. Very, very nice. Very, very lovely. Cycle 7 twice in a row. Let's go. Twinning? Let's see. What is quality of twinning right now? Oh, shit. Two themed out sonnets. Ooh, that red accent is nice. Very nice. Uh, we'll look at these last two. We're going to pin it over here. And we'll call it a day. Line Friends TKL. I was debating buying this board. But I have so many TKLs that I just couldn't justify it. It's a nice board though. Plus I'm not really like, I'm not really a fan of like Line Friends at all. Um, but very nice though. Great, great color choices for the keycaps too. And then we got the Miklon. Ooh. I, I, I think I kind of want to pick up the symbi Symbiota desk pad. It works actually surprisingly well with Miklon, huh? Like surprisingly well. Nice. The Line Friends O-ring mount. I will say this. Um, Even on the cloud line, the O-ring was kind of whatever. <laughs> I don't I don't think I quite like O-ring TKLs very much at all. There's like one O-ring TKL that I like and it's the Kaze, that's it. Most O-ring TKLs are kind of whatever to me. I actually, my favorite kind of TKLs are um, probably gonna be polycarbonate plate top mount, to be honest. Jaguar was okay. Like, I don't think the Jaguar, I think maybe the Jaguar is an exception to that rule too. Um, but I still prefer my, my polycarbonate top mount keyboards for TKLs. All right, guys, that's pretty much the stream. Thanks for hanging out while we look, take a look at some of your guys stuff too. If you guys want to submit um, to that, just send the discord. Hey, but thanks everyone for tuning in today. I really appreciate you guys. Let's go see who we can go raid. Go raid. Okay, let's see, let's see. Is the music getting really loud or something? What's going on? Um, you guys said XX Dubs is streaming. Potato Mom Monday, desk samples are here. Let's go right XX Dub. All right, guys, loud and sad. Yeah, it just got super loud all of a sudden. But you know what? We're signing off anyways, so maybe it's a good thing. Take care, everyone. Have a really good uh, rest of your day. I'll see you guys tomorrow night at around 9 p.m. It's a little later than usual, but I'll see you guys then. Wednesday, we're gonna be off, and I think Thursday we're off too, and then Friday, Sunday. So we're having the four, I think we're doing four streams this week. Perhaps we do one more though. I think there might be one more I'm not remembering. But uh, see you guys, thanks for tuning in. Uh, thanks for being here, thanks for the follows, thanks for the subs, really appreciate you guys, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye everyone, love you, sleep well.